one of them I wrote on a field trip, and the other one I wrote with reflection to the end of the semester. Uh, so the first one, last weekend we went to the Superstition Mountains down uh, just north of Phoenix, and sitting at the base of the cliffs, looking out in the very bright moonlight and all my friends running around with flashlights and cameras, um, I wrote this short poem. I am superstitious. I believe in things I cannot see. I have faith in my belief. I am scared of very little, but of what I am scared is often unprovable. I am scared of what may come of my choices. I am superstitious of the threads of fate trembling neath the silver scissors. I am scared of the aftermath of the death of loved ones. I am superstitious of the elves and gnomes that reside in the woods behind my house. I am scared of how my friends treat each other and how I treat them. I am superstitious of the seraphim carrying out holy orders. I am superstitious of the auras around people. I believe in a Manichaean force dividing people. I am superstitious of what hides in the crags and hills ahead of me tonight. I believe in mystic creatures fighting natural battles of fantastic lore. I am superstitious of the benefit of positive thought and energy. I believe in the eternal duality of the sun and moon, good and evil, life and death. But I have faith in the middle ground. I have faith in the human spirit and prerogative. I have faith in compromise and agreement. I will follow you into the dark, but I will be wary. These creatures do not take intrusions lightly, and the spirits of the Apache past will have vengeance. I'll follow you into the mountains, but I will keep my wits about me. These rocks have ears, and the cacti have eyes, and the benefactors of this infinite wilderness will protect it forevermore. I am superstitious, I have faith, I am aware, and I seek to prove. Thank you. The second one I wrote with reflection to the end of the semester. Um, I've traveled a lot since I was young, and each transition, the one line you know, it's an infinite line, a, a story from long ago, is that the grass is always greener on the other side. Um, and I feel that that's what keeps me going in my adventures. So I wrote a poem that I hope reflects that. I assert to you, the grass is greener. The grass is greener, the sky is bluer, the flowers are redder. But you might not believe me, so I should show you. I should take you there, we should go together. I assert to you that the trees are taller, the trees are taller, the leaves are crunchier, the branches are longer. But you may not understand me, so I will show you, I will take you there, we will go together. I assert to you that the air is cleaner, the air is cleaner, the dew is wetter, the breeze is calmer. But you do not imagine it, so I can take you there, I can show you, we can go together. And afterwards, we can stay together. We can be together. We can lie in the grass together, the grass that is greener. We can look at the sky together, the sky that is bluer. We can pick flowers together, the flowers that are redder. We can climb the together in the taller trees. We can walk together through the crunchier leaves. We can sit together on the longer branches. We can live in the cleaner air. We can be happy in the wetter dew. We can have a life in the calmer breeze. If you opened your eyes, but for now, all I can do for you, all I can say to you, all I can assert to you, is that the grass is greener.